Guess what, you all? I have discovered some natural remedies that can counter erectile dysfunction. Now, myself, I'm 61 years old, and I've been struggling with erectile dysfunction for, let's say, 20 years. Since I was 41 years old, I first started dealing with erectile dysfunction. Now, that's not the first time I actually experienced it right in my 40s, but I actually first started experiencing erectile dysfunction when I was 17 years old. Now, that did not come from because I was unhealthy or anything like that, but it came from the drugs that I was taking. Uh, when I was 17 years old and I used to be in the street life, gang banging and all of that, and one of the drugs of my choice was PCP. I used to smoke what we call Sherman sticks. And every time I would smoke a Sherman stick and wanted to have sex, I would not be able to get it up because of the Sherman sticks. It wasn't until I got around 19 years old that my cousin told me, he said, try some Seagram 7 Gin uh, if you ever think you can't get it up because you're doing drugs. And I tried that and it actually worked, right? The Seagram 7 Gin. So every time I was going to know I was going to have sex and I smoked a, a Sherm stick or something like that, I would drink some Seagram 7 Gin. But that was because of the drugs that I was taking. And you know, I talked to young people today and I realized that a lot of folks are taking drugs today just to get it up right and be able to enhance their um, you know sexual prowess and I found that I talked to my nephew he told me that he smoked crystal meth because it would have him going all night long with a stiffy stiffy and um, but eventually it impacted him to the degree to where that he has some mental health issues and now even today you know he started doing it when he's in his 20s he's in his 30s now but now even today you know he has to take medication for mental health issues right and i talked to other uh, young so i have one gentleman that told me that his brother take those um those over-the-counter uh, rhino pills um mushroom pills uh to get it up and he said that it was he used it to enhance it i guess but eventually he had to rely and depend on that. There was um, something that a woman told us, told me once when we was in, I was in a training, she was a clinician and she was talking about trauma and how it can impact your body. And she was using an example of, of caffeine and, and drinking coffee. And she said, when you drink coffee, you know, it, um, that coffee kind of takes the place of your natural energy. And so your body start relying on it and, 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 when you need some energy, you have to drink the coffee because your body stopped producing that whatever chemical it was to produce energy in you. And what ended up happening is, is that um, when you stop taking the caffeine like I did, because when I heard her say that, I was like, wow, you know, you mean uh, I'm cutting out the natural uh, process of energy by drinking coffee? And so I started not, I started, um, uh, using other natural things that didn't have caffeine in it for energy. But what I really was relying on is my natural energy. And once I stopped drinking caffeine, I recognized that I would get real tired. And then all of a sudden my body would kick in, energy would kick in naturally. And so I realized that there are a system within our body that teaches us certain things and does certain things for us. So it's the same thing with when you take those uh, mushroom pills and you don't need them. Uh, pretty soon your body is going to start relying on that until you get off of it and start building yourself up naturally not to do that right and so i've seen uh youngsters who uh, are, are having this erectile dysfunction but most of the time it starts impacting you when you get in your 40s for me i had no problem once i got in church at the age of 22 years old got married when i was 24 i started having i was i wasn't having any problems with erectile dysfunction, I was able, like Eddie Murphy said it, to get it up at the wind blow, right? And so, but once I got in my 40s, I remember I was about 41 years old, I was real stressed out, depressed, I wasn't eating right, I was losing a lot of weight, and I remember I started having the problem. And immediately I went to the doctor because that was my manhood, and I was really like feeling less than a man. So I went to the doctor, this was back in, I believe the either the late 90s or the early uh, 2000s, at least around the early 2000s. And um, uh, yeah, it was the early 2000s, around 2003, 2004. And I started 
taking the blue pill and that was you know of course viagra and um but i had a, a rn a nurse tell me that you know they did a complete physical and they said hey your your body you know there's nothing wrong with you you're completely healthy and so and your testosterone levels are up so you know you probably need to quit taking those pills because it can impact you um uh, your body, your body organs because of the chemicals that's in it. So then I started looking for natural remedies to counter these um, these drugs that you take uh, uh, through prescription or over the counter, right? And so one of the things that I started doing is studying the research it, looking at the experts and seeing what they were saying. And so there were several things that the experts were saying. And when I started trying it, it actually worked for me even today at the age of 61, 21 years later. The reason why I say I struggle with erectile dysfunction is because if I don't stay on top of it, I will, my body will revert back and I'll start having to struggle and deal with getting it up. And so, but if I stay on top of some of these natural remedies that I use, I'm good to go. And so some of the things I realized that I have to stop doing, right? I have to stop like um, uh, eating all these different types of sugar, uh, make sure my diet is right, getting the proper rest that I need to get, you know, um, make sure I get my vegetable fruit, make sure I'm drinking enough water. And some of the things that I didn't do, but I'll share with you uh, of some of the things that said also can impact you, that if you drink and if you smoke, that can also impact you where you have a problem with getting it up. But if you really uh, work on yourself and um, uh, eat properly, get your proper rest, right? Make sure you get your vessel fruit. Make sure you drink enough water. And then the other thing is what I found that really works for me in a natural remedy is exercise. And that's why I threw up this picture. One is me looking at the weights and the other in front of the cardio machine. And why I chose those two is because cardio um, create more veins, blood vessels in you, right? When you do cardio, it creates more blood vessels for your blood to flow through. And then when you lift weights, it expands your, increases your, your blood vessels so the blood can flow through more smoothly and so on. So I found that when I exercise and I stay on top of it, it really, uh, on a natural end, increases my ability to get it up and, and keep it up uh, for as long as I want to do that right and so make sure you uh, you exercise cardio and weights drink a lot of water watch your diet get a lot of rest and then another thing you can do which I found is effective but you got to find everybody's body is different and you got to find what works for you and that is herbs right there's different type of herbs that you can take and use as far as that can help you uh, as a natural remedy for um erectile dysfunction but if you're young leave the drugs alone leave the alcohol alone leave those over-the-counter mushroom pills alone and start focusing on the natural end of things right and you will see that as you be consistent with it you will see a change in your body and you'll see that it actually worked all right god bless you and remember to subscribe and like. Thank you. God bless.